John Corley and I'll see you out on the marina. Um, it's a lovely day out there. Uh, just careful because the water out just past the buoys is a little bit choppy. Obviously. Um, that's not on. That is not on. Some of you might have seen my Squire J Mascus. I think that is on there. Squire J Mascus review. Um, and I guess this is going to be a similar kind of thing where these are guitars that potentially I wouldn't use all the time, but you know, if I wanted to try a jazz master guitar or a baritone guitar like this, um, Squire are putting out kind of decent quality stuff for not too much money, which I think is um, a nice way to dip your toe in the water and work out whether that kind of instrument would work for you. Um, and so this is a Squire uh, Paranormal series Cabernita, is that how you say it? Telecaster and it's a baritone which basically means um, a normal guitar obviously be tuned E to E, this is tuned B to B I believe. Um. stock and I've still got the the uh, free online lessons sticker which uh, I'm tempted to start my trial at some point today um, in terms of quality it feels pretty decent to me uh, it's quite heavy um, which I'm not sure if that would be a good thing or a bad thing with a baritone guitar obviously there's a bit more neck to balance out so if the body was light maybe you'd end up with a kind of top heavy guitar I'm not sure about that but maybe that's a thing um, the only slight adjustment I've ended up making is that uh, I adjusted the truss rod. Obviously, I've got it straight out of the box, and got it straight out of the box, and it's pretty good. Seems to stay in tune pretty well. The I might have to make a slight uh, increase in the saddle height here because I'm getting a bit of string buzz here, higher up the frets on the the bass kind of strings. Um, but aside from that, I can't really find any issues uh, except for this scratch plate is screwed on, kind of wonky. Not well, that's particularly a big deal. Um, so I guess what's this guitar for? I think it's a really pretty decent instrument for the money. Um, the neck is a nice comfortable feeling kind of C, it's not too slim um, and the fret edges aren't kind of sharp and the fretboard edges itself are pretty decent feeling. Um, I picked up a Fender Vintera yesterday, a Telecaster and uh, myself and my friend Chris that I was with, we found that the, the f kind of fingerboard edges were quite sharp um, 
and it didn't feel good. This doesn't have that issue. It's a pretty good feeling neck. Um, all in all, got really kind of no complaints about this. And I guess if you're wondering why um, I might grab something like this, um, I think in terms of inspiration, it's got kind of a different thing going on. Um, so if you know my playing and stuff, uh, I guess. guess you know kind of what I'm into but this for me is kind of like a tool which I can pick up occasionally and is gonna get me thinking in a slight different way um, unlike a 7 or an 8 string guitar I'm still gonna be completely familiar with how to actually play the thing but um, what ends up coming out sounds slightly different to a normal kind of E to E guitar <laughs> I guess you could sort of think about it like using a kind of reverse capo um, you know so if you play kind of stuff you know but on a capo it's kind of got a fresh sound to your ear or it does to me anyway um, so that's what I'm thinking with this guitar um, I'll take some close-up shots but uh, I think it's really pretty decent for the money um, hopefully this video gave you some idea of how it sounds uh, I'm using the helix and I think the HX stomp for the, the intro um, those presets are available if you want them um, in the description um, and also there's an affiliate link with Toman if you were thinking of buying one of those um, if this video helped you to make that choice and they've got it for a good price then why not use that link and I think I get a tiny bit of a kickback from it possibly um, anyway thank you for watching and yes that's the Squire Paranormal Series Baritone Carbonita Cabernita, however you say it, whatever it is, Telecaster, um, and I think it's pretty decent for your money, and perfectly serviceable. Um, baritone guitar, which isn't going to um, destroy your bank balance and might give you an idea of whether you're into the baritone thing or not or just be an instrument that you occasionally pick up and you don't feel guilty about having it because you don't play it so often um, because it didn't cost loads <laughs>